What are the best REITs for the coming year? REITs or real estate investment trusts are publicly traded laundry funds. And in mid-2024, I provided an update on five of the best REITs. They have also performed significantly well in the upcoming period. But what do we see today? There has been a recent short-term pullback, meaning the prices have declined. And a number of real estate fans that have high qualities are super interesting for long-term investors. Not only return potential, but also consistent dividends. And quite high as well. 4 to 6% dividend. So in the worst case scenario, you hold on to your real estate funds. In the market volatility with ups and downs. And at some point, you just wait until everything is rosy again, because that's how the market works. And you sell with price returns. And all that time, in the meantime, because you are a patient investor, you have received dividends, a high dividend. So in this video, seven out of five, seven of the best REITs at the moment, with a focus on high quality. There are many real estate funds, but here we have actually looked at the best REITs in terms of high quality. It is a very important part of the economy. It is a very important part of the economy. Ring, which means you not only have dividend security, but also potential return on price. Enjoy it, and I am curious what you think of it. I forget it every time, but go to our website. Of course, thank you. Download our booklets, Graphs TF book, free stock book. We also give a lot for free, and we would appreciate it if you liked our video. That is good for the algorithm. Thank you. These videos are purely for inspiration, just because it's fun to do, occasionally, of course. And I also appreciate your feedback, your support in that. And if you want, subscribe to us if you find our videos valuable. Well, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. First of all, a disclaimer. When mentioning the number of best REITs for 2024 in the video, I also bought two myself. It turned out to be quite good timing. The first is Realty Income. We see we are still up 8% despite the recent decline, which makes it attractive to buy more. And because of the dividend, the total profit and loss is still slightly higher than that. And National Retail Properties is still up 11% despite a significant decline. And the total profit and loss is higher due to the recently paid dividend. Additionally, I also have Mid-American Apartments with the ticker MAA. However, that is in my Interactive Brokers account. But we won't be discussing that. First, we will talk about realty income and why it might be interesting. Now, the 2024 video about the best REITs was mentioned somewhere during this period around the summer. Since then, the result has actually been much better at a maximum of plus 20% excluding dividends. But we see that recently realty income has dropped again by about 10 to 12%. And that actually makes it an interesting entry point again. At the moment, purely based on technical analysis, you might see that there is a support level around this current price level. Of course, it would be even better if the price drops again to a price level of 52, where I took my initial position, or maybe even lower than that. I just doubt it, because both in the short and long term, realty income looks quite interesting. First of all, the historical valuation, also mentioned in the other video about real estate, that you could buy for the long term with attractive dividends. And we see that the recent decline has again led to an undervaluation of realty income in the short term and long term. And the nice thing about fast graphs is that with these kinds of stocks with a very long history, fast graphs works excellently regarding historical valuation. Let's take a look at the forecast. Based on the norms multiple that is around 18, based on five year averages, realty income could even achieve an annual return of over 20% or more. And that is including dividends. You just need a lot of patience because you buy the stock and just wait until you have received a lot of dividends and then a big price increase. And then you can always sell for a profit. And if the price moves horizontally, you still have attractive dividends. Now, the valuation of realty income is relatively favorable compared to the sector. And therefore, it receives a relatively good score on valuation. In total, it receives a buy signal on the factor analysis for the short term between 6 and 12 months. Not a strong buy, but just a buy signal. The growth is relatively strong. Profitability is relatively very strong. Momentum is neutral. And revisions are negative. That could mean that they will make somewhat less profit in the short term. But sector rank still indicates that it is a hold. Their price target is $65, and other price targets are also around $65. So, you can also explain it to yourself a bit. Short term, and in the long term, morning's value estimate is $75 for the long term, 
And if you look again at the long-term history, it is still... It is plausible that this stock can rise again, even if it is only to the last all-time high based on a higher valuation than it is now. So, Realty Income has interesting upside potential. Hey, it's great that you're watching Happy Investors. Thank you. If you go to our website, happyinvestors.nl, find the free eBooks. Don't forget to download your free resources like the ETF book, exactly how you can invest in ETFs. Our free calculator tool for wealth calculation is highly sought after. You will also find some other downloads here. Additionally, on our website, which is happyinvestors.nl, you will also find our demonstrably higher returns than the S&P 500 and the AEX. For example, our growth stocks are currently up 150%, and that in just one year. Number two of the potential best REITs for this year or next year, in no particular order, is NN Rate in which I also have a position, still stands at plus 11% after the recent decline in 2024. It was a bit lower a while ago, in 2023, and since then it has also risen significantly in terms of returns. Recently, after a significant increase, the share of NNN has decreased by 11%, but this is in line with other real estate funds. However, we see that, for example, the real-to-income seems to be valued more attractively, is also somewhat stronger, but NEN right still has its potential. First of all, historical valuation shows that after the recent dip, it seems to be undervalued again for the long term. And based on the normal multiple, in this case 16, the total annual return could be around 18 to 15 percent, including dividends. And you see, for example, that the real to income had a potential return of even above 20 percent, maybe even 25 percent, and that based on the normal valuation. So in that case, NRET seems a bit less interesting, but it also pays out an attractively high dividend. And the valuation grade is a B, which means that relative to the sector, the valuation is attractive. You can also see that the PE for next year is in the 20s, while the sector median is much higher. But of course, we need to look at the price to AFO and the price to FFO. And you can also see that they are relatively lower. Total debt slash capital is somewhat in line with the sector average. Sexync indicates a CEL, however, this is not supported by detailed analysis, so we will just nicely ignore that. What do the other analysts from Wall Street say? They give a price target of around 84, which means a potential return of 11% upwards in the short term. And interestingly, they have a lowest estimate of 45 and a highest of 53. So they also think that there isn't much downside potential. In my opinion, I personally think it's quite fascinating and intriguing in the long term over an extended period of time anyway. Therefore, you should consider waiting patiently because it consistently offers a high dividend payout. So for dividend investors, this is super interesting, but a REIT is not the best REIT in my opinion based on quantitative data. Other REITs are therefore more interesting in this video. Visi Properties is an interesting REIT because it has a special focus on certain segments such as gaming and entertainment, and this stock has moved quite relatively stable recently in the market. It has paid out high dividends all this time, and the recent dip could possibly be an interesting entry point, but the stock of Vizi hasn't dropped that much. And we can also see based on momentum and factor analysis in the short term that the stock can perform quite strongly for the coming year. Although in the longer term, the potential return seems a bit less attractive. The historical valuation is relatively short regarding the data to draw many conclusions from. If we look at a kind of forecast based on the norm multiple, that norm multiple is not too high. Then we see that the good expectations are actually modest and established by multiple analysts. So let's say that the average consensus could be relatively accurate. And then Vision could achieve a total return of over 14%. However, if the valuation rises somewhat in the short term, let's say to 19, then Vision could even achieve a return of 20% or more, including dividends. Why could this be a scenario? because VC scores strongly on factor analysis, namely a strong buy. This is a relative methodology, so instead of intrinsic values, factor analysis takes relative valuation into account. You see the valuation is relatively attractive with a relatively low price drop at this moment. And interestingly, the dividend is quite high, 5%, but what's interesting is that VC scores high on growth, an A+, and profitability is also very high. And analysts expect that EPS will increase, meaning they will realize more profit than expected in the short term. That's why VC scores high on factor analysis. And that could mean that at least in the short term, so before 2025, VC could be one of the better choices. Zegshank indicates to hold. Furthermore, no extensive analysis. Other analysts, a total of 24, indicate that the average price target is around 
35. So that also represents an upside potential of 11%. However, they provide a somewhat larger range here, which may indicate more uncertainty. And Morningstar rating gives four stars for Visi properties. Only the fair value estimate from their side is $33. That implies a relatively smaller increase compared to the current price. But Visi could potentially surprise based on clearly demonstrable statistical outperformance regarding the quant rating. Attractively valued, higher growth, strong profitability, and possibly even more profit than expected. Therefore, Visi is definitely worth investigating further. Hey, it's great that you're watching Happy Investors, thank you. If you go to our website, you have a contest.nl. There you will find the free ebooks. Don't forget your free download like the ETF book, exactly how you can invest in ETFs. Our free calculator tool for wealth calculation. Additionally, you can find on our website dpfs.nl our better returns than the S&P 500 and the AEX. For example, our growth stocks that are currently up 125%, and that in just one year. Also, Agri Realty Corporation with the ticker ADC is a well-known REIT, a reputable real estate fund, high quality, and this is also noticeable after the strong performance following the last dip in 2024, it has risen by 37%. However, it seems that the current valuation has risen a bit too much. Based on technical analysis, you could say yes, there might be a resistance level around the price level of about 80. So it is interesting to see what happens when the price reaches 80 and then goes down again. There may be a larger decline in the short term, and why is this assumption? Because purely based on statistical data, it seems that Realty Corp is a bit on the high side in terms of price tag, although relatively speaking. And of course, it may be that you want to pay a premium for high quality, but for example, Realty Income is also high quality, and you are not paying a premium for it at the moment. So all of this is of course about risk and return. You can also see based on historical valuation that the price is now both above the fair value and just slightly below the normal multiple. But that normal multiple has also increased in recent years. If that normal multiple of 20 were still valid, then EDC could achieve an average return of around 10%, including dividends. This could very well be enough to outperform the S&P 500 over the next three years, as the S&P 500 is quite highly valued. Looking at the valuation of ADC, we see that it has a C, meaning neutral. It has somewhat of a higher valuation. The price to FFO is somewhat on the higher side, but 18 is not super high right now. It therefore has upward potential, but the question is whether there are not better opportunities. Perhaps there are. Zegschenk gives a hold rating. Other analysts indicate a price target of around 80. That means a little bit of upward potential, according to their forecasts. You also see a broader price range with perhaps a decline, Morningstar gives a fair value of 76. I really wonder if this is correct. I have to say 67 because they do give a 5-star Morningstar rating. So something seems off here, but it could be me. Overall EDC, strong, high quality. However, it remains to be seen what the technical guys do based on the last resistance level, the all-time high. If it breaks through, it could go higher. However, as we see purely looking at the valuation, it is somewhat on the higher side. But of course, premium, high quality, and then you also see it reflected in the profitability, which is in A, more profitable than the sector average. And that is a better choice for the long term, which is why we are discussing Agri Realty Corporations in this video about the potentially best REITs for 2025, but also for the long term, because investment quality simply works best in the long term. A final high quality REIT real estate fund for this video is Simon Property Group, and actually, this is the least interesting in terms of upside potential. Simon Property is one of the larger real estate funds, just like Realty Income, but we see that when we compare it to Realty Income, the latter seems to have a higher upside potential, but that may not be the case. Simon Property Group currently pays out around 4% in dividends, which is also stable and has recently risen significantly. And you can see that it is approaching its all-time high, but it still needs to rise quite a bit more for that. So purely based on technical analysis, the only thing we can state at this moment is that it has a strong upward momentum, and that certainly says something. Mr. Market fully believes in this stock at the moment. If you look at the historical valuation on a total maximum scale, we see that the price has now reached fair value. But if you look at the shorter term scale, taking into account the earnings growth for the coming years, it seems that the stock is valued slightly higher. But still, the price to AFO of 16 is not extremely high.
It is not attractive. It is not undervalued. It is just not very high. The five-year average of Simon Property Group was, for some reason, only a valuation of 13. Price to AFO, of course. And yes, the recent price drop has increased. So if the earnings expectations for the next two years are somewhat disappointing, totaling about a 3% increase, and you have a huge multiple, then this means that the real estate fund is not going to realize much return. Indeed, if the price drop, for example, increases to 18, which is in line with, say, vision properties or realty income, then we see that the annual return is above 10%. So you really need to compare equal valuations and ask, hey, what is the upside potential for Simon Property Group? Do keep in mind that it is already a very large real estate fund, which makes it harder to grow. That growth is also neutral and at about a sector median. In other words, you are not growing faster than the sector median. That is, of course, a bit logical. If you are a very large real estate fund of 60 billion, it is harder to grow faster. Therefore, keep that in mind, and the valuation receives a B, which is relatively okay, compared to the sector median. And we see here that the price to AFO, according to statistical models, is slightly lower than what we saw with fast grabs. So all in all, it seems to measure as one. Just keep in mind that total debt to capital is relatively very high. In the very short term, the rating gives a hold. And the other analysts, a total of 18, indicate that the average price target is lower than the current price. So it may be the case that Simon Property has risen too quickly here. Morningstar also gives a lower fair value estimate. And that is the reason why I made this video. For REITs. You see a significant price increase, strong moments. The question, hasn't the stock risen too much? What will happen at historically higher levels? Is that a resistance level? Is that a resistance level? Is that a resistance level? Facts and statistics, and also the forecasts, suggest that the upside potential of Simon Property is quite limited compared to other REITs. But of course, if we are wrong and the market is off, then it could be a good investment. All in all, I think other REITs offer a better chance than Simon Property, but if you are a dividend investor and want to apply diversification, a 4% dividend is not very low and seems relatively secure for these larger entities. We will see. We have now actually covered six high quality REITs that are relatively well known. And when stocks are relatively well known and many analysts have researched the stock and provided estimates, the market is often efficient. Despite that, we can potentially achieve high returns in 2025 because those real estate funds have all recently dropped to an attractive level. But if you want to shape your portfolio, you should look at real estate funds that are less well known. In other words, smaller. This video is purely about inspiration, showcasing some potential best real estate funds from different categories, and it is 100% data driven, so you need to do your own research on the quality or fundamental analysis. First of all, among the top retail stocks, we have the share of Getty Realty Corp, which currently scores very high on the factor analysis. You see a relatively smaller market cap and a relatively high dividend. Why does the stock score so high? Because it scores high on both valuation, growth, high profitability, also has momentum, and analysts expect that this stock will likely achieve more returns. Other examples that scored high are Kimco Realty and Regency Centers with the ticker REG. In comparison, Realty Income, a premium quality REIT that we mentioned first, is rated as a buy, so it has a slightly lower factor analysis. And also, others that we mentioned, such as Agree Realty and REIT, are significantly lower. Simon Property Group is also on this list. So, research is definitely needed. Get that realty buy and ask yourself what is going on here. To give an example, purely based on the normal multiple, if it is set around 16, it could be that this real estate fund might achieve a return of over 15%. Other specialized rates are also interesting and we have already mentioned VC properties. And you can see that it scores very high. Actually, the highest factor scores within this segment. Specialized right but we have also mentioned EPR properties earlier. It pays a high dividend, has seen cash flow increase, but due to the recent rise, it now has a hold rating. This means it may not be able to outperform purely based on relative valuation. Admittedly, the yield is still high at 7% and the valuation is still attractive with high strong profitability. Finally, multifamily residential REITs. Actually, they are all currently not scoring very attractively. We have mentioned Mid-America Apartment, MAA, which is listed here. 
And you can also see that it scores a bit neutral based on the factor analysis. Others score slightly higher, but that doesn't make you very happy either. So actually, this segment is less interesting. More interesting is VC properties based on factor analysis and thus other REITs that we have discussed. In this video, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think. We would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and also like the video. That helps us in terms of reach. Thank you and see you next time.